Hello, for this lesson we are talking about absolute value. Okay, so absolute value, what that is, is simply measuring the distance that a number is from zero. Okay, and something that's really key to remember for absolute value is that since it's just talking about a distance from something else, it's always positive. So once you understand absolute value, it's really, really easy because no matter what the number is, the absolute value is it, of it is just the positive form of that number, okay? Because let's say if we're talking about an ex the example of football, right? If you gain three yards, right? Well, the distance you are now from the what was the line of scrimmage is three, right? It's three yards. If you lose three yards, so that's a negative value, right? Well, you're still just three yards away from the line of scrimmage from where it was before. So absolute value is always the positive form of the number. Okay? We also have a term in here talking about opposites. Okay? Opposites. Well, the opposite of a negative number is that number but in its positive form. And the opposite of a positive number is that number but in its negative form. So let's look at some of the examples for that. For the first section, it says find the opposite of each integer. Okay? Well, the opposite of negative 177, well, that's the positive form, right? It's negative, so the opposite is the positive form. Okay? For number two, all right, it's 13. Well, 13 is positive, so that means the opposite is its negative form. For number three, we have the value four, okay? Well, that's positive, so the opposite is its negative form, okay? So that's how we can work with opposites. Now, you might be asked, hey, find the opposite of the opposite. Well, if the opposite of 4 is negative 4, the opposite of the opposite is going to just go back to positive 4, okay? So you might be asked something like that. In the next section, it says evaluate each expression. And this is where we're going to see those absolute values. Okay, Absolute value, when we're working with math, we're going to see two lines. They look basically like the number one, but are usually a little taller Okay, to try to denote that these are not, right? it's not one minus 121. Right? These lines are larger, so these are the absolute values. So, so how this would be read is the absolute value of negative 12. So it's the absolute value of whatever is inside of that absolute value. Okay? So the absolute value of negative 12 is positive 12. Right? Remember, I told you, absolute values are always positive. So if what's in paren or sorry, what's in the absolute value signs is negative 12, it's just going to be positive 12. That's all it is. Over here we have the absolute value of positive 5. Okay. Now remember, it's not asking you for the opposite. It's asking you for the absolute value. And the absolute value of 5 is 5. 5 is 5 digits away from the number 0. Okay? It doesn't go to negative. It's always positive. Absolute values are always positive. And for 0, okay, the absolute value of 0 is 0. 0 is 0 distance from the number 0. Okay? Now, for 7 and 8, we're going to see these ones you have to solve a little bit, okay? A little bit more than just saying, oh, I just need to turn it positive. If we have an expression like we do inside of the absolute values, you need to solve that first. Okay? So that means that I need to do 8 minus 3 is 5 before I take care of the absolute value signs. Okay? So if that expression is inside of the absolute value, I have to solve it first. And the absolute value of 5 is simply 5. We already actually did that one right there. Okay? Notice I still wrote my absolute value signs here, the symbols. I did that until I actually took the absolute value. Right? I don't want to lose that because if this had ended up being a negative number and I lost my absolute value signs, I might have accidentally left it as a negative 5. Now, let's take number 8. Okay, and we notice this time, okay, the expression is not within the absolute values. There are two absolute value problems here, okay? So this is the absolute value of negative 7. Well, there's nothing to solve in there, right? Here we had something we had to solve first. But so what we need to do is we simply need the absolute value of negative 7, and that's positive 7, right? 
and then we have plus, we always bring down that sign, and then here, I have the absolute value of four. Well, the absolute value of four is four. So the answer to this one, right, and notice I don't have absolute values here because that's my first step, right? I solved these absolute values since there was nothing else to solve inside of them. So seven plus four is 11, and that gets us our answer.